Hi, I'm Zoe, and I'm joined by... I'm Richard. Uh, I'm VP of Engineering at Protect AI. And we are going to talk AI red teaming. So, all right, Rujir, tell me a little about how you and your team like identified the need to solve this problem and like the early stages of figuring out what you wanted to build. Sure. Uh, so I've been in the security space for close to a decade and I realized when AI started picking up, especially LLMs and beyond, that security seems very different when it comes to AI. Mm. Um, like a lot of your traditional security um, uh, techniques apply, but there are nuances which make them very different. Mm. Um, and the one that I found the most fascinating was um, trying to break these systems. Um, and, and as a security person, you always prefer breaking than building. Uh, so I started with trying to see what are different ways I can break an AI system. Um, and that's where the idea of uh, came, like we, let's build around red teaming and then realized how much more nuanced red teaming is when it comes to AI systems. For example, right, like in traditional security uh, systems, you find an attack, you run it 10 times, it either works all the 10 times or works none of the 10 times unless you've fixed it. When you're testing an LLM or an AI system, you don't know. It might work the first time, not work the next time, and then again start working. So the whole probabilistic nature makes it um, really interesting how you test it. Until now, people have relied on humans to do it, but it's not scalable because you need to run the same attack again and again to make sure whether it works or doesn't work. Um, similarly, suddenly now, the entire world has become a hacker, right? Like you don't need to know any programming language or scripting mm. to break into a language model. Anybody who can type can potentially try to break a system because you're just trying to convince it to do something that it doesn't, um, which increases your attack scope and type. Like we've seen a lot of models that are designed to be safe against English suddenly change the language to something that their guardrail hasn't seen and suddenly all the filters are gone. Right? So it makes that challenge really interesting and something that humans can't solve scalably. Um, and that's why I wanted to build an automated system that helps solve this problem. Yeah, and this has really like become so relevant. You know, chatbots have been around for a long time. And one of the first things I did in AI was build a, a really mediocre chatbot. Um, but they used to be very difficult to build take months and months and months to build any kind of chatbot because you had to kind of tie all this language back to an intent. And for those who aren't that close to it, it's not that different than almost having a rule, right? If you hear or see uh, this type of language, you respond in this very specific way. But with all of the evolution on generative AI and large language models, that is so different now uh, that these models can respond in totally unexpected ways and they're always changing. So how do you and your team like stay on top of the newest way to break these? Uh, that's a great question. And that's that's what we enjoy doing the most, right? Like we have yeah, a dedicated- Yeah, super nerdy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we have a dedicated team of threat researchers who are always looking for new ways to break into these systems. Uh, but again, it's not, we can't find all of those issues. So we stay on top of everything else others have found, published about research papers um, and constantly looking for newer methods. But what we found to be really fascinating is within our product recon, we have a, a, an agent which crafts its own attacks. And once we started training it on specific techniques of attacking, uh, we saw it do certain combinations that we had never imagined and mm. come up with attacks that we'd never seen before. And they were really efficient. Uh, so now, <laughs> now, now we have those attacks, which are like something that we never imagined. But now we have AI trying to break AI, which is also expanding our potential of number of attacks like uh, by an infinite scope. Why do you think you guys have built the coolest product on this versus anybody else? And I say this like being, you know, obviously not totally objective, but fairly objective. I mean, I look across a lot of the tech landscape all the time and I haven't seen anybody build quite what, what you guys have built within the recon product. So this might be slightly biased, but uh, I think <laughs> uh, a key aspect which makes it um, which is which makes this a hard problem to solve is yeah. uh, the world has very limited people who understand AI and ML and an even more limited set of people who understand security and the mm. intersection is almost non-existent. Uh, we've been fortunate to find some of the best people who understand both really well. Um, and um, I think that's given us an edge to uh, build certain systems that are well ahead of what we've seen uh, anybody else build. Um, and, and, and that focus of recon being more, more on the offensive side only, uh, not trying to like 
solve for everything but just for generative AI systems um, uh, has led to this product which is far ahead of every, anything else we've seen. Now the the sort of reg regulatory, I don't, I'm putting that in air quotes because I mean just more like guidance mm -hmm. um, from thought leaders across lots of different folks out there uh, in the industry is now starting to really highlight this as a real need, right? Uh, this kind of uh, sophisticated approach to red teaming these LLM applications is coming up across a lot of the big frameworks that are out there, uh, whether that's OWASP or, you know, our partner Databricks has just released their um, Databricks security framework and also highlighted this need. Can you talk to me a little bit more about that? How do you guys think about making it easier for people that are trying to be in compliance or follow the best practices coming out from these frameworks to use Recon uh, to solve those problems? Sure. Um, unlike traditional systems, um, when it comes to generative AI systems, most enterprises will rely a lot on foundational models and then build on top of them. Mm. Uh, so there's like this massive black box that you're bringing into your infrastructure, uh, which you don't know much about. Um, so you can't have those other security controls like um, your secure code reviews or um, um, penetration testing of uh, the system that was used to build it. And you sort of need to look at that black box and red teaming is the best approach to test those. Um, so uh, one reason why a lot of these frameworks call out red teaming is um, one that you have so many moving parts within these systems that you have no insight into or no visibility or very mm -hmm. little visibility into. Mm -hmm. uh, so red teaming at least takes an outside in perspective of despite not knowing anything behind the architecture, we'll still see what is the attack surface, how bad is the risk profile, um, and tell you what's possible, what's not. Feels critical. If you're yeah. an enterprise out there about to launch an, a an LLM application, it seems, it, would seem, it seems bonkers to me that you would launch one without red teaming it now that this yeah. technology exists. So within Recon, you can do both, right? You can do it, you can use it in a sort of purely uh, neutral way and just let the model do its work, or you can kind of do it in a human augmented way and partner a partnership. Yeah, uh, and that's one of my favorite features of Recon, right? So um, what we allow in a Recon agent-based scans is um, it can be used by anybody in a company who wants to test these systems. You don't even need to know how to attack an AI system. You can give Recon a goal that I want you to get this target LLM or this target LLM application to do ABC. And Recon will then start crafting attacks to get it to do those things. So for example, let's say if you're releasing a customer support bot for Acme Inc. Uh, and you want it to say something bad about Acme Inc. Or you want to make sure that your bot never says something bad about Acme Inc. Right. Give Recon a goal to say, get it to say something bad about Acme Inc. You mm -hmm. don't need to craft attacks. You don't need to know how to attack these systems. Recon will take that as a human goal, that a human has given it a goal to achieve this and start crafting attacks and see how easy or how hard was it to achieve that goal. That's really cool. The other thing that I like, it's a new feature I know you guys just launched, but just going back to the frameworks is uh, a lot of customers I've talked to in this space are still getting their head around how to measure themselves against some of these frameworks. And one of the things you guys have just launched is the capacity to just map that directly within the product. Can you? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about it. Sure. So, so we've seen frameworks of two types. There, we've there's some frameworks like the OWASP top ten, um, which are focused more on techniques that are used to attack a system or an LLM system, and we've seen some like the NIST AI RMF, which are focused more on the goals. For example, like can this system give out harmful content? Mm. Can this system give out um, uh, um, biased content? Right. Uh, what we do with Recon is. When we run every test, it maps all successful attacks and also all attempted attacks against all of these popular frameworks and gives you a sense on which techniques and which goals are your systems more susceptible against. Once you know this, it is much easier to build mitigations and remediations against them and also gives you a much better sense of the risk profile you're going out with. So let's say if it says that, okay, across most things you're really good, but there is one specific area where your LLM lacks, you can take a much more informed decision that, do I want to spend time fixing this first? Mm. Or is this a risk that the organization is ready to take at this moment and deploy it along with it? Yeah, interesting. Well, thanks for spending some time with me and my tea and telling me all about Recon. And thank you so much.